Hello everyone, Ab here at Tech Motorsports and today I have here is an S54 engine. Um, so to give you a little story on this one, I have a buddy, I'm just use the initials JW, um, his father EW. Um, this is actually his engine. Um, he's uh, got it uh, dropped into an E36. So one of the things that uh, that I was asked to do was to kind of go over it. Um, the motor uh, came to me with a broken bolt inside the crank itself right here. Uh, so the bolt is the one that um, the bolts on the harmonic balance. Um, just in case if uh, any of you guys don't know, uh, these bolts are one time use only. So if you do or not a lot of these, you've got to keep replacing these bolts. Um, I'm not saying that the previous person did not or did, whatever, I'm just saying that it's just a uh, thing you have to end up knowing. Uh, one time you saw it, pretty much. Um, so, so yeah, so I got it and started looking at it and kind of getting an idea, you know, it's in it. I don't want to have to disassemble anything because technically the motor is already assembled and it was technically in the car at that time. So I had to do some thinking so I don't mess anything up. So of course, you know, there's a couple ideas that we can end up using from just using drill bits to going in using heat. But you know, if you use heat, it's just a lot of crazy stuff. So what I ended up doing, I just started with, uh, with uh, scenario number one, which would be the easiest was uh, using drill bits. Can I get it out with a drill bit? Um, it was already attempted um, as the, as you, when you look down in the hole, you could actually see that there was a drill bit in there. Um, so they uh, has been, um, it was tried, it was, they were trying to remove it. Um, but anyway, so I've done a handful of these, I would say, and um, just not in a tight area like that, or close to tight area. So with it being so deep in there, some bits won't, you know, they're lo not long enough. So what I had to do is I had to be creative, and um, this is what, uh, what I end up using. So one of the tools that I was uh, that I had ready to use was a center punch. Um, center punch to try to get me in there and get a little dimple in there, so that way my drill bit didn't uh, wander around in there. I didn't have to use it um, because um, they did try drilling it out, so it kind of gave me an, uh, a clean surface. So what I ended up doing was I started what I uh, the, the procedure or the process of a uh, step bit. So in other words, I used a very small little drill bit. End up seeing that. And the thing is, if you look at it, this drill bit is not long enough uh, to go into there. So what I end up using is my extension that would be just for a regular um, little bit tool. So I had an extension. Now the thing is with it, it does move a little bit, but I was gonna end up using this, but I realized I didn't have to, was once I have it in here, the hole itself, it kind of gave me just a little bit of uh, a wiggle room, so I wasn't um, nervous about breaking a bit. But the thing is with it, I went real slow, and I kept using my trusty WD-40 to keep it looped. And uh, little by little, little by little, I was able to get the first bit, which is this one I used. I mean, you could use it any size. Uh, I just used, I think it's a 330 seconds is what I ended up using. Uh, and I made sure it was a brand new bit um, that would just make things a little bit more easier Because um, the first initial hole, that's what's going to take a while. These bolts are hardened um, Well, for the most part, I think they're hardened, but it is tough steel just to drill through So I started with this one worked my way. I mean it, it, it took me a little bit of bringing it out cleaning it used more WD-40 and went from the 330 seconds to, I'm gonna to throw my glasses on this one. Five thirty seconds. And what I end up doing is I didn't go from the next size up to the next size up. What you wanna end up doing is you wanna go from at least a couple size uh, bigger because you don't want the next size to bite in there and break uh, the drill bit off. And then you have to figure out how to get that thing out. So you wanna go a little bit bigger and then I went from the 5.30 seconds to 7.30 seconds. So now I end up using three drill bits. Um, and for the first one and the second one, I end up using uh, this 
and I think if I remember correctly I was able to get um, this in without using the extension but once I got all said and done the one that really got it all out which is my saving grace I have like four of these um, is my reverse drill bit so this I have a couple of these brand new I barely get to use these um, and what it ends up doing is you just you go on your normal route and it will technically bite into the metal and it will just round it out and as soon as I was able to get it you could see it wobble and I got it out to where it, it didn't con make contact anymore and all I ended up doing is uh, grabbing my um, my little magnet tool went in there spun it around and long and behold the bolt so as you can see uh, in the process of, of the little hole get it in there and it wasn't in the center, but it was good enough to where I was able to get it all, all a really good bite on her. So a little bit of patience and time, uh, got it out. So with all that, got it all said and done. And now technically um, at this point, I should be able to reassemble the whole motor um, or start in it, you know, put the new oil pan back on, the oil pan gasket that is, and the timing gaskets, all that stuff. So as I go in and start looking a little bit more closer, um, I realize that this little pin, this is a little dowel pin right here on the actual crank sprocket hub itself, is slightly damaged. So when I go put my balancer on, she moves a lot. Even with the bolts, she moves around. So just to give you an idea, So there, there it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the camera in a little closer. Bear with me. This is Ebb Production here. All right, there. Look, that looks good. All right, if you look at it, keep an eye on this, this center piece right here. Now, when this piece goes on, there should be very little movement. Unfortunately, I get. I get too much movement, I'll lose sleep at night. So, um, luckily, these are purchasable. You can get them. Um, FCP has them. Uh, so I'm gonna have to order one of these, which comes with a new dowel pin. And then I will also order um, a new bolt uh, that goes there that keeps it in tight. So, uh, luckily, um, it wouldn't be too bad, to be honest with you. I was looking at it, when I start looking at it, I was like, great, I'm gonna have to take a lot of the timing off. But with the, um, with the guide off, and this is me just thinking, looking at it. I haven't gone into it. So I think by you know removing a guide, moving that over, I got my cams on. If you could see, I got my, uh, my pins. You can see right here, the little reds. So my cams are locked into place. This is in TDC. Um, and um, I'm hoping that I could get this removed and get enough slack to where I could just take the hub off and uh, put it back on without having to go with the timing again. So. Uh, so that's the plan. Um, right now, this is just gonna be a quick little show, or short video on this, uh, just to show you uh, the issue with the bolt and, um, and how I got it out. And I'm glad it was uh, plan A. I hate going through plan B, C, and, and then pulling my hair out in between all those. But uh, we were able to, uh, able to get that done. So, so now, um, I've been looking at the bins of parts that I've got and uh, just making a list of items that I need, what seals and so forth. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of time uh, off video, off camera, and uh, go in and um, make a list of, of the items I get so I can go ahead and get this reassembled, get this back together and hopefully get it back in the car so uh, so the, uh, the engine can be back in the car and back at it, uh, what it loves to do is uh, go racing. So uh, again guys, Eb, Tech Motorsports, um, like and subscribe like always. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, lately, I know I've uh, gotten a handful of subscribers. Um, I was privileged enough to uh, to assist uh, Obsessed Garage, Matt. And uh, thank you to all those, uh, uh, their his subscribers that have uh, attached on to me. I appreciate it, thank you very much. It really will help the channel out. I hope, hope the channel goes even further. Um, again, thank you very much and um, See you in the next one.